you can see God in everywhere, only you need an eye to see it. God is the cheapest commodity that is available. <laughs> You may not have good air somewhere, but God is there. You may not have sunshine somewhere, but God is there. You go to moon, God is there. You go beyond the atmosphere, God is there. God is all-pervading. So life is all-pervading. Love is all over. And when you sink in that state of love, there is no difference between you and that what is. God is not there just to fulfill your petty demands. Oh, heal my knee, heal my neck. God, take care of my brother, take care of my sister, take care of my wife. He is with you as your wife, He is with you as your daughter, He is with you as your father, He is with you as everything. See what we pray for? God do me good as though He is not doing good. We send recommendation to other people. Please, I recommend to so and so, so and so. See, when a child is away from the parent, all that it wants is to go to the parent, isn't it? But when it is with the parent, it doesn't bother about the parent, it is bothering about the toys. <laughs> it says, I want this toy, I want this toy, you give me... It doesn't give attention to the parents. You can ask for small toys when you realize you are already sitting in the lap of the parent. Then even before you ask, the parent has granted you the toy you wanted. Parent gives the toy. But you can remain lost in the toys forever. Thus min tajjani Veda Bhavat. Don't see the difference between him and in his creation. See God right here. Is the concept of God in an unchanging personal form? If you think it is toy, it is no more a personal form. It is personal form, it is personal form.
not can be both the totality of everything and the local line, the local line, the persona by form at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay, if God is creativity, then, then, then can we know God without being created? You can be creative only when you have known God. And all creativity springs from that area deep inside you, which is very pure. Creativity doesn't spring from the level of thinking. Have you observed? All these aeroplanes and cameras and everything, you think man created this? No. This is also creation of God. See this? At some level from deep inside, intuition came, a thought came, let me do this. And then he just acted, he, I mean, there was no choice for him but to act on those thoughts. Isn't it? What really baffles you or takes you away from this idea of God is science. But if you are matured in science, immature science, you know, takes you away from, but if you are matured even in science, go deep in science, then you appreciate this phenomenon, this phenomenal reality underneath this creation. Tell you that is the real devotee. Real devotee, one who appreciates the signs and go through it and then recognizes the reality. Otherwise, the doubts will you see that? I don't mean everyone will have to study science and... No, science means what? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Seeing this, this whole thing, all the creations, all the creativity has sprung from some unknown area which cannot be explained but lived fully. Krishna is there. (laughs) 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 